Alright, what's going on everybody? So I'm going to be playing some Firebow with the Evolution Valkyrie today. Um, to be honest, I just feel like not using my brain on ladder because honestly I've been having a long day. Um, kind of a stressful one and I have a headache right now. I feel like someone just smashed a brick on my head like 25 times in a row. So I don't want to use my brain and apparently this guy doesn't either because he's running Little Prince plus Healer. Um, so this should be interesting. This is actually my first game with this deck so I have no idea if this is going to work out. Um, or be terrible, so uh, pretty much I just took out the Tesla and I put in the Valkyrie instead of the Knight in the normal Firebow deck that I use, and this is, uh, this is gonna, we're gonna see what happens, so he's got, looks like either Golem or Elixir Golem, probably Golem because it's a lot more popular at the moment than Elixir Golem, just because of how easy it is to lose with Elixir Golem, I feel like, you make one stupid push and then you just kind of ruin the whole game, um, but I'm just gonna have to go with my wizard over here on the right side. It's gonna get a lot, a lot of value in this matchup. For some reason, whenever I put in wizard, I always face decks that have barbarians, so, um, guess the, uh, Clash Royale gods want me to win or something, but I'm just gonna go for the expo at the bridge, since he did play that elixir collector. He does have little prince, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, I think he's on pretty much zero elixir after that, yeah, he's gonna be on pretty much nothing so i'm just gonna let the expo do its thing and then we'll go ahead and go for the ice spirit here down low and then the evo valkyrie up top if he does pop the ability okay he is gonna pop the ability so i'll just go log plus skellies to make sure this little prince dies and yeah we're, we're chilling not too bad of a situation um i'm not sure if he's back to pump yet i think he might be one card off still right or did he uh, he might be back by now i'm actually not too sure okay he just said screw that i'm gonna go ahead and go in the back so you know what time that is for me. I'm going to go ahead and mute up. If I lose this game, I'm actually going to delete this app off my phone. Um, that's that's kind of my mood right now. Like, there's no way I should be losing. I'm not even that high on ladder. So I'm just going to go for the Ice Spirit over here. He does go for the for the Electro Dragon. Okay. Um, I'm just going to rocket all this. Get that value early on. He's probably going to just ignore this and pump up again. Yeah, okay. Dude, like... <laughs> Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Pretty brain dead play by this guy so far, though. I'm just gonna go Expo on offense. I don't think he has enough to get a Golem. There's no way. I would be genuine... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did this guy just play Barbarians into a Wizard in a Valkyrie? Is this guy real? No, like, what did I just witness? Um, I'm pretty sure that's game. A really bad E-Drag as well, because it's gonna hit nothing. And now my Wizard can go ahead and take care of that. Um, come on, please kill the, please kill the E-Drag. Okay, wait, we, we're literally in one rocket range to win this game. He's on zero elixir spamming because he knows it. Wow, that might have been the worst, like, I don't even know what just happened from him right there. But that was absolutely a terrible defense. And we're gonna win, just like that. Pretty much Wizard carried me to victory right there. The thing is, if you get a ton of value out of it, you win the game instantly. If you don't get, like, any value, you kind of just lose instantly. So it's kind of a, uh, double-edged sword. Yes, before I forget, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that commented um, happy birthday to my mom. I showed her today, um, pulled it up, and she literally was just, like, smiling the whole time reading everybody's comments. Um, so, yeah, she was very appreciative of that. Um, I mean, it's just, like, one of those little things that makes her happy. So, I'm glad that you guys were able to support in that way. Um, definitely made me pretty happy, like, waking up in the morning and actually seeing that people did that. Um, so, yeah, I just put a smile on my face to start the day. So, I do appreciate everyone that did that. Anyways, let's lock in to this game here. Um, okay, okay hold on let's just pause and think about what we're doing here so he, he thinks i have no well i don't have log in cycles so i guess he just thought let's just full send the bridge you know what let's just full send the bridge i'll go valkyrie at the bridge as well um and let's see what's gonna happen here so he has the rascals i could go expo on right lane on zero depending on what he does um i mean should i i mean i could just expo i'm gonna expo since he doesn't have that much elixir um he has the knight okay okay that's great <laughs> Uh, I thought he was running like an actual unique deck and then he just pulls out a little prince. So that's the story of Clash Royale right now. I cannot wait for another nerf, to be honest with you guys. Um, and no, I'm not complaining. Like I get the card is going to be broken, whatever. Uh, I just, you know, I'm ready for it to get nerfed and be out of the meta since it has been multiple months of the same exact kind of play style from people. I think it's making a lot of people worse at the game, in my opinion, but I'm not going to get into a big rant at the moment about the card. Um, so he's going to cycle the princess in the back here. That's completely fine with me. Um, I guess I'll just log this. My cycle is okay, but it's a little bit awkward. I'm just going to go Evo Valkyrie to pull these. Wow, that actually one taps... Um, am I stupid? The, the Valkyrie always one-taps the barrel. See, this is what I mean. I feel like I got hit by a rock. My brain's actually just not functioning. Um, well, you know what? I think you play Clash Royale better when your brain doesn't function these days, to be honest. So I'm just going to cycle a wizard in the middle here. 
um into double elixir not bad not bad i'm just gonna go for the ice spirit right here what is that princess that was actually terrible i'm gonna go for the expo on offense since i do have this wizard supporting um i'm gonna go valkyrie as well he's probably going to rascals no he's gonna go knight plus little prince who would have ever guessed that one um i cannot see a way that i can break through this if i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys um, I feel like even though I have a lot of splash damage, he has just too many counters for the expo to get a connection without at least setting up like a defensive... Okay, I thought he played that in the normal placement. That was my bad. Um, so pretty bad NATO by right there, but it is what it is. Just gonna have to cycle my log. He wastes his log, so that's fine with me. I'm gonna go for the defensive bow. I think this is kind of my only way of breaking through. Um, that might be the worst little prince I've ever witnessed in my entire... 19 years on planet earth i'm just gonna go for the valkyrie here to kill the wall breakers and okay that's not bad let's see he's gonna have to respond to this oh man the stupid princess is such a problem i'm actually gonna nato that in to kill it i don't even care if it gets damaged okay it actually is gonna get one swing i'll take that one swing for sure it actually gives me a lane to commit to as well um i'm just gonna go offensive boat that was a really interesting barrel right into a wizard like who does that um, I'm actually gonna rocket this on zero. I know it's a little aggressive, but I want this stupid thing. Oh my goodness, that was a terrible rascals. Wait, we can actually win this, I think. Um, he's kind of throwing at the moment. I'm gonna go Valkyrie on zero and then log on this left side, and I think maybe we get a connection with the expo. That would be ideal here. Oh, definitely. No, we're not. Somehow we're still not. Um, I'm just gonna go Ice Spirit as well. He does waste his little prince. Harry Potter is on tower, and that is what we love to see. Two, two shots from the Harry Potter. And he pretty much wasted all his elixir on defense. He is going to pop the ability, of course. Um, I'm just going to go Valkyrie to protect my wizard. And then it's also going to tank for that princess, which is kind of kind of nice. Um, we're into triple elixir right about now. He's going to go knight on top. So I'm just going to freeze preemptively with the ice spirit. Not bad. Should clean up that knight pretty easily. Then we can go for another defensive expo. So now that we have my cycle corrected, he doesn't have a massive damage lead. This game should be pretty free, but I don't want to speak too soon. I'm just going to go wizard here. I don't care if he gets a little bit of damage, to be honest. He doesn't get any because the skeletons came back and helped um okay what in the world is he doing okay um, i'm just gonna go skellies over here go for a tornado for this barrel and then wizard over here on the left side i'm um, gonna go ice spirit and then valkyrie at the bridge as well just to take out his little prince and create a little dual lane look at this double lane push right now absolutely beautiful uh, i do have to nato look at the valkyrie wow that's actually just disgusting how much damage he got really bad princess oh my goodness he's so desperate it's crazy um 20 seconds left gonna go for the valkyrie the bridge look at the wizard oh my goodness look at the wizard guys so inspirational uh, i'm gonna go for the rocket to win the game and that is ggs back-to-back -back victories i'm telling you if they don't have a per like perfect response then there's just no way to stop the wizard especially with the valk evolution in front like it's actually unbeatable I might actually just play this for a couple hours even after the video ends because um, I need to start pushing up a ladder. I really have not played seriously for a couple days. Um, just been like, I don't know, kind of busy. I also have school, so um, it's a little bit more difficult to just push ladder. You know, I'm kind of jealous of the people that play for like, not jealous because this game, like it'll drive you insane if you play too much. Um, there's definitely some days I don't want to even push ladder at all, but um, other days I'd like to just sit down and grind for like five hours straight and that would be an ideal like session for me I'm gonna go expo at the bridge because I have this wizard like honestly why not? Um, oh my goodness. Okay, wait, he's playing the Markarius deck with the um, Minion horde and the bats and all that all the spam stuff. So um, if he does Try and do something I have enough elixir for a tornado if he goes like hog or something But he's probably just gonna reset and go for a mortar mortar once he hits 10 elixir um, If that's the case, I think I'll go for the valkyrie other lane here But i'm not really too sure this deck seems okay. Like actually you have plenty you kind of cover all the basis um of like defense and then the wizard honestly is kind of my offense like turning into Like turning it off of a defense into an offense has just been working out really well for me. So Maybe that's decent, but, like, I can't even imagine playing Minor Poison against this deck. Like, dude, I'm, I'm never going to win um, because they're just going to poison my Wizard or my Expo every time. Um, honestly, you could probably do some bait plays and maybe make it work, but I don't know. I'd have to experience it. Maybe if you guys let me know if you enjoy seeing this deck because I could definitely um, play some more videos with this. Um, but yeah, Valkyrie is probably going to get a buff, the evolution, after this season, or maybe next season, I don't know, whatever they decide to do. Um, and maybe after the buff, Valkyrie will be even better. I think it's still fine, like, you can still use it on semi-high ladder, but it's just, like, really top ladder. Uh, one, once I start pushing up, I'm going to have to not play it, because it's just not quite 
on the same level as the knight, um, which, it, which, it, which it might be after the knight gets nerfed and the Valk gets a slight buff, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, my wizard is going to survive on 1 HP. I mean, this card is just too easy. That's why I prefer wizard over ice wiz sometimes, even though ice wiz is my favorite card in the entire game. Let's not get it twisted. Um, just like the, that surviving the fireball factor is so amazing. Like, it's, it's honestly one of the greatest things of all time. I'm just going to rocket this hog. I know it's a minus two trade, but he did play the bats and then I played skelly. So it's only a minus one trade overall for me. Um, right? Am I doing the math right? I think I am. I'm just gonna go for the defensive expo. Ice Spirit to tank for whatever he plays. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm getting really lucky with interactions in this specific game. Um, he's kind of just, I mean, not lucky, but he's kind of just spamming things and praying to get through because he's down so much damage from the start here. Um, and I think this is a great matchup as well, so I'm not really saying that I've outplayed him or anything, but so far so good. I'm just gonna go for the wizard to take out these guards plus bats. He's going to go for the Mortar again here. I'm just going to go for the Skellies to tank, and then I think maybe an Offensive... Oh, that was a good Fireball, actually. Uh, I am going to go Offensive Expo. Hopefully something happens here. I'm going to log this as well. Maybe that's aggressive. Oh my goodness, wait. I'm going to choke this game if I don't be careful. I'm going to go for the Wizard on zero to just take this horde of whatever that is out oh my goodness that just got like well over a thousand damage in two seconds so i do need to be a little bit careful i've kind of been playing a little bit free since i thought this game was basically over um, but i'll lock back in here and i think defensive expo is fine he's gonna go minion horde again here hopefully my wizard can turn around but that oh it does wow that's so nice oh my goodness wizard op guys um I mean, I, I don't know. It actually is a fun card. Like, you can't lie. It might be the most fun card in the entire game for me to play. Just, like, because you never really know what to expect from it. Um, that's definitely not a competitive thing. Because, like, I mean, who's going to play Wizard in competitive? Let's be completely honest. But, um, you know, for enjoyment purposes, I definitely think Wizard is up there. I'm going to go for the Valk. That is going to get one hit on my tower. Um, look at the Valk hitting the tower, even though it's not hitting the tower. Love to see that. And I think that's pretty much GG's. We'll just go for another defensive expo. 50 seconds left. He's going to minion horde once again. But we can just NATO plus ice spirit. Should freeze all those minions and take him out. Um, yeah, really, really good. I can just go for the rocket cycle. Or I can make him painfully wait out his... Um, whatever you want to call it. I was going to say execution. But that seems a little bit harsh if I'm being real. I'm just going to go for Valkyrie. Then NATO this minion horde once again. Ice spirit over here to freeze that bad boy up. And then, okay, chill out, chill out, chill out. I need to go evil Valk on zero to make sure this hog doesn't ruin my life. Um, I'm going to go tornado on this left side, wizard on the right. Please, bats, do not do that to me. Please do not do that to me. Okay, we're fine. Um, he's going to go for a desperation hog, but there's only five seconds left. Nothing he can do. He's going to try and zap, but yeah, that's going to be GG's. Once again, really, really solid, I mean, solid matchup in general. Wizard kind of carried me, uh, like, again and again. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Peace.